what's going on you guys hopefully you all doing good it's been probably a while since i've done a video um been super busy and pretty much wanted to make video see how y'all doing hope y'all doing great it is winter it is cold it sucks i'm ready for summer uh so i want to talk about retirement because you know i don't know about you but for me i don't want to be working when i'm 60 years old yet alone i probably don't want to be working when i'm 40 or even let's say let's say 55 you know let's say you want to be 55 years old be done with working or at least working full time so here's the nice thing about night transportation that you may not know about and this may be another reason you may come over and give it a try so here at night transportation they offer a tooth i think it's up to two thousand dollars match uh for your 401k retirement and uh it is through principal which is a very good company because i have family that has it through them and they're already retired and they say it's very it's probably the best uh retirement accounts out there but like you know i'm not a retirement expert nor am i saying i am these are just my thoughts so you know let's say you're 25 you just get into trucking you want to save you know 10 percent. nothing wrong with that but here's the thing you know let's say you save seven thousand dollars for the year you're going to get two thousand dollars of that money so it's like it's free money that night gives you um so you know a lot of companies are doing that a lot of companies are matching a percentage of what you put in up to a certain dollar amount they did the same thing when i worked in the dealership when i was working on cars for five years for a living they would match so much Per dollar until you reach that dollar amount and then it would stop they wouldn't stop matching it for the year so you know if you're somebody like me you're getting older you're gonna be you know 33 35 years old I'm gonna be 33 years old this year it's crazy how old we're getting because just looking back I started trucking uh, back in 26 when i was 26 yeah 26 years old i was trucking when i was 26 and now i'm gonna be uh 33 crazy um when you look back at it like if you didn't start that young you're getting more let's say you're 45 never too early to start your retirement never too early get into trucking um because you know trucking's got its days don't get me wrong even with an experienced veteran driver that like i am other people even veterans that got 20 plus years you're always going to have bad days you're always going to have days where you get tired of it where you're so sick and tired of it you want to quit um but you know that's the thing about trucking you take that time off you get energized you're like hey i want to go back out you go back out and uh here's the nice thing you may not know about night transportation is they are so family oriented and they care about their driver's home time uh their personal life all that stuff so i if if you've been following along since the beginning since i started this channel when i've only had 50 subscribers 100 subscribers and now i'm close to 1800 subscribers if you follow me along this whole time you will know how much time i take off and the people that know me the ones that 
personally know me that talk to me on a regular basis, they know I take a ridiculous amount of time off. By this, I mean I take uh, I take about a month off in the summertime. I take about a week off every other month, about five to six days off every other month. And the reason why I do that is because we all get burnt out. When you're out here, you're out here for a week, you know, a month at a time, even two weeks. Two weeks, you can get burnt out. So, you know, it's nice to where you can only work 10 months out of the year. Eventually, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to take a month off in the summertime because that's where I like to do things. I like to ride my motorcycle, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then I am going to take a month off probably November to December in that area. Um, now, the only downside about taking that much time off is you may not be able to keep your truck that you're in. So I got a brand new 2020 Volvo. It's got, it had almost 100,000 miles on it when I picked it up and about a month ago. And I'm already at 10, I already put 10,000 miles on since I picked this truck up. So that tells you how much I'm running. Um, for example, I left the house uh, last, last week. So last Wednesday, I left the house. I picked up in Ohio, went to Utah, uh, Salt Lake City. I dropped there. I got stuck in snow. And then I picked up in Salt Lake City, went back to Chicago. I dropped in Chicago, picked up in Rockford, went down to Ohio, delivered to Ohio, and uh, it's some good miles. So from Ohio to Salt Lake to Chicago was right about 3,200 miles for the week. So you figure from Wednesday to Wednesday, I did 3,200 miles. We get the miles over here. We get the miles, we get steady miles on the reefer side. All the people that I know that are on reefer can vouch. We get the miles because it's longer. We pick up in Ohio, we go to Utah, we go to California, we go to Oregon. You know, that right there, you're leaving that. I left the house. So I left the house on 1,800 miles from my dad had pick up to my delivery 1800 miles that's not bad um and then because they put so much time on it i got a 34 in i still delivered my load i still picked up the same day which was fantastic and then i delivered and then i got to uh chicago on wednesday so if you hammer down, you keep that door closed, you can make some money over here. And if you want to know more about where I work at or where all these other drivers that work where I work at and why it's such a great company, there's a link. It's a quick link to quickly fill out that. It's a, just a little six questions. You fill in your information. This way, I can keep in contact with you and I can keep in contact with the recruiter. So if they have a contact with you in a day or two, I can call the recruiter up. Hey, uh, this guy, such and such, this person uh, has not been contacted yet through one of our recruiters. And they will get a hold of you. So whether if you're a new driver, I got, a, I, speaking of that, there is a person that watches my channel right now. If you're watching it, once I upload, leave a comment down below. Um, he is in my terminal right now with one of my buddies that is a trainer. And he is with him. And so far, it's going great. Um, when I was talking to my buddy, he overheard my voice. 
It's like, hey, man, I watch your videos, so I appreciate that. But here in this terminal, we get such a great family-oriented that you're not known by a truck number. They know you by name. They know you by all that. Yes, the first week or two, they're going to be like, hey, what truck are you in? Because they don't know that. So eventually, they're going to know, hey, you're in this truck. Great. We're going to plan you up. But, you know, give it a shot. Never know. But I like I always say, like I always say, what works for me may not work for you. So me working here may not work out for you. Just like I got buddies that do flatbed, car hauling, what works for them may not work for me. Uh, buddy that does flatbed, he does it, he, he loves it, he, it's great. But for me, that's not me. I don't want to get my ass up on a six, on a seven foot uh, plywood, crawling my ass up there trying to secure a load in high winds. It's not for me. Um, call me lazy, but I like to bump into a dock, go to bed, take a couple hour nap, get up and roll. So if y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll try to do some more videos as I go along. Also, I am speaking of the training part. Like I said, the uh, if he's a subscriber or not, if you're not, make sure to subscribe. He is with my buddy that is training. I'm also a trainer. So if you're in need of a trainer, go ahead and get in contact with me. Might be able to work something out and um, if I'm available and I don't have a student. So I did go back into the training, uh, the certified training over here. And that's the other thing. You have to be certified in, to be a trainer. So a lot of companies and some of these other companies, they don't make you be certified. So any Joe Smo can go be a trainer and it could be the shittiest trainer you ever had. And um, it could be the worst experience. But over here, we're certified. And if a trainer's not working out, you, you, need to let, you need to let the company know, hey, it's not working out. Can I get into a different trainer's truck, someone else? And a lot of times they will work with you and they will switch to where um, they will put you to another trainer. So remember that you don't have to be stuck with one trainer. If it doesn't work out, you can always go to somebody else. You may wait a week or two, depending on availability, because we are short trainers, but there's a reason why we're short is because, you know, we try to want the best of the quality trainers over here. So hope you all like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and uh, see you on the next one.